the development of Florida has been so quick and in a hundred years, all the parcels that have surrounded this area have been developed, high rises and homes. So through activism, this park has been saved. Many times it was threatened. It was threatened, for example, when they built I-95. I-95 was going to go right through here. Uh, also, once upon a time, uh, History Miami wanted to build their museum here and they would have used a lot of the area for a parking lot. Both times, community activism saved the park. When Metrorail was built, they also wanted to run it through here. So it now has a designation of forest community. That means that the plants here are protected and somewhat protected because there are further designations uh, we could have but you can't cut down trees and plants here without special permission. Simpson Park was named Simpson Park because of Charles Torrey Simpson, who was a naturalist that lived here in Miami in the early part of the 20th century. And so in memory of all the work he did saving native plants and the, the tree snails that used to exist here, they named this place after him, after his death. Simpson Park is very special because it's unique. It's what's left of the old Brickell Hammock. Before that, it was called the Old Miami Hammock. And it was a forest that covered everything from the Miami River to Coconut Grove. And it's a, called a hammock because its elevation is what permits the hardwoods to grow. In other words, it's a little bit raised up and it doesn't flood like the rest of the Miami area. So the old Miami hammock has old growth that is only here. It's specific to this part of the world. In fact, it's very specific to South Florida and the Caribbean, more than the rest of the United States. And so here, it also has archeological significance. There used to be a, a spring that dried up when the water table went down in Florida and is now a solution hole. And there, artifacts have been found of the native peoples that used to hunt here. One of the most important aspects of the Simpson Park that is important that the people know is the number of endangered and highly threatened plant species that we have here, such as uh, bitter bush, such as uh, red berry stopper. We have an important plant here, the name is Gulf Lycaria. This is the plant that belongs to the same family of the avocado tree. And also we have a hardwood hammock that is unique in our United States. If you go to the north of Florida, if you go to the other part of the United States, it's so difficult that you find ecosystem like this. And then we have eight acres of this kind of vegetation here at Simpson Park. We have been working in the restoration and in the conservation of this area. Simpson Park offers an absolutely unique place to come and experience nature. Nature the way it was in Miami before before development. It's, it's a forest that's here and the Spanish would have seen something similar to this. So it's unique. You can walk the paths, you can sit, peace and quiet, a stop for migratory birds, uh, butterflies are coming back because of the restorations that are coming on here. So it's absolutely unique in terms of the nature and the ability for people to relax and find some serenity here. When we bring the student here to the park, they learn that we have excellent plants in the United States, native plants that we don't need to use fertilizer, we don't need to use insecticide, we don't need to use a lot of water. We do educational activities. We do, for example, birding walks, eco-tours, tree measuring workshops, and whatever has to do with the native ecology of the area to show people how to appreciate and to understand the plants. This is one of the goals that we have to bring students here. And every day we receive a lot of group of community, our students. Every day we receive uh, volunteers from different uh, schools in, in, in Miami. We have some uh, 10 uh, volunteer students that they come to the park uh, and working. And then uh, what they do is uh, get all the information 
and they have to present a project at the end to their high school that they come from or the college. And they, at that time, they, they have learned uh, the most important things of nature and at the park. I learned a lot of very interesting things about plants that I didn't even think existed before I came here. Yeah, there's a plant here called bitterbush, and it has traditional uses from the Indians or whomever that they used it as a laxative, they used it to treat malaria, and it's interesting that the plant contains a chemical called quinine, and quinine is also a prescription drug to treat malaria. Nobody knows if one of the native and endangered plant species that we have here in the park will be the solution of the one disease or one problem that we have in the world in the future. The future for Simpson Park is more designations, historical designations, official archaeological designations, in order to really save and protect what's here so that it can't be torn down and it can't be uh, eliminated one day for the whims of the future, to, to save this place, to have more community involvement and to have people understand the importance of native plants and why they're important. And I also like to invite you to come to see how Miami was when Spanish people discovered America. Come over to Simpson Park, please come, have a walk, come and visit us, come and see the native growth, come and see the two champion trees we have here, and come and experience the, the birds during the migratory season that stop and sit on the forest floor, come and experience the beautiful golden orb silk weaver spiders, and everything that Simpson Park has to offer.